Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video I am very excited about. I'm going to be talking to you about how you can transition your summer wardrobe into a fall wardrobe. How you can take your summer pieces that we're still wearing because it is still warm out, it is still August, but we're going to be sliding into those cooler days and I'm very excited about that. For me in South Texas, it's going to be a little bit longer until we're in the absolute coolness of fall. However, that is the entire point of this video. A lot of us have favorite things that we love to wear in the summer, but we're kind of in that in-between stage and maybe you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of fall things right now and you definitely don't want to invest in maybe any more summer pieces. We're kind of in that middle zone of Hmm. So I'm going to show you how to marry those summer pieces with the fall staples. I'm going to be giving you tips. I'm going to be giving you some outfits that I absolutely love. Everything that I'm going to be showing you here today is available so you can go out and shop if you see something that you love. I'm going to be showing you some absolute fall winter staples in my collection that I really love, but how to really bring those into this time of year where we're in between seasons. So if you enjoy yourself today, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. The links are in the description box. And if you enjoy outfit type videos, I do have a playlist of other videos in the past that I have done as well. So I'm going to start off with what you're still probably wearing, which is shorts. Shorts are one of those things that you either love them or you hate them. I'm, I'm kind of one of those girls that, you know, I will love them once I find a few good pair. And I kid you not, I have found some absolute dynamite pairs of shorts. I'm going to link all of them in the description box. Now what I found about shorts is that you really need to find a rise that works for you. For me, high rise is where it's at. It, it gets up over my hips and it hugs them really nice and it's very flattering. I also do not like really short shorts. I'm a fan of something that at least with a two inch inseam. These pair right here I recently got at Nordstrom. These were 40% off so hopefully they are still on sale. But They are by the brand SP Black Label. They're a higher rise. They're a nice destroyed denim but they're not too short. You can see them right here. They're so comfortable. I had actually just talked about these in my get ready with me video. Another pair that I really love are by Blank NYC. These are called the Essex. These have a nice amount of stretch. I don't like too much stretch in my denim shorts because it really doesn't flatter my hip area if it kind of pancakes my butt. You know what I'm saying? So these blank NYC ones are also a really lovely rise and they're very comfortable. If you're a fan of light wash denim, which I'm a huge fan of it, I just think it looks very clean and just, I don't know, there's something about it that I just really enjoy. These ones by American Eagle are really lovely. These are also high rise, but none of these are that really high rise that go crazy high. If anything, it's like a flattering, sits at kind of like your natural waist. These shorts that have the star pocket are also really fun. It's just kind of fun to add a little bit element of, I don't know, a little playfulness to your wardrobe, a little something different. This material has like no stretch in it. They're 100% cotton, so these are more of like a girlfriend fit, fit, a little bit looser. Now this particular style has a lot more stretch in it, so if you are a fan of something that has a lot of stretch, these would probably be the answer for you. I, I still like them though because they're not as destroyed and they're a little bit darker, more blue of a true denim wash. Having a variety of washes in your denim is going to make your wardrobe work a little bit better because I think the light wash shorts look really nice with whites or lighter pastel colors and then your dark wash can be just a little bit more saturated. I think having both colors is going to be better because it's going to better suit the looks that you're going for. And then these, I love these. These are like a combination of a light wash and a dark wash, like a medium wash I guess that would be what that's called. But I love the color and the distressing on these particular ones. So you have your shorts and you have your obvious tank top. So my first recommendation would be cardigans. I think a cardigan is an absolute simple way to take a tank top and shorts, t-shirt and shorts outfit right into fall. There are several different types of cardigans that I love. Um, I'm going to recommend to you the Barefoot Dreams cardigan that is so buttery soft, amazing. You, as soon as you feel one of those or put one of those on, it feels like you're being hugged. It's cozy. It's a little bit thicker of a material than say like a cotton, just a single ply cotton cardigan would be or even something that has like a polyester blend, but it is amazing. I love how it feels. It's really one of those things where you're going to reach for it time and time again around the house or if you're out doing errands. Now it's not going to be as polished of a look, but if you want something a little bit more polished, this cashmere blend cardigan from Nordstrom is 
amazing. It's from the brand Halogen and it comes in petite lengths and regular lengths. So if you're quite tall, get the regular. If you're like five foot four or shorter, maybe you should go for the petite. I did buy the regular length because I actually don't think it's too long. I'm five foot four, so I'm kind of right at that cutoff, but it comes in a slew of colors. It definitely looks a little bit more polished. You can wear this at the office. It can dress up a basic shorts and um, sandals outfit kind of thing. I personally love this red color. I think it is stunning. What I also love about this cardigan is that there's no buttons. It's just really simple. So it's a great starting point. You know, if you wanted to add in the, the accessory, maybe you wanted to belt it, maybe you wanted to throw on, you know, like a buttoned up shirt to dress it up a little bit or do a statement necklace. The cardigan itself is just really a great starting point. It has nice little ribbed sleeves here too, but it's so soft. It has cashmere in it and it is just to die for. If you're looking for something that's more 100% cotton, maybe it's still a little bit too hot and humid where you're living, but the AC is cold, movie theaters are cold, grocery stores are freezing. I don't know about you, but I always bring something in my purse to throw on when I'm at the grocery store because I'm wearing little bay shorts and tank top outside because it's really hot, but then you go inside and you're freezing. This particular card, and I really like, once again, very simple, no buttons. It has little pockets in the front, but it's 100% cotton. It's a nice ribbing. It has really nice sleeves on it. It doesn't have any like balloon sleeve action. It's just really simple. It also comes in a lot of colors. If you're looking for one of those slouchy, just soft, loose knit cardigans, I would go to Free People. They have a lot of those types of cardigans. This one is a longer cardigan. It does come with a hood, which I don't actually wear, but I guess if you were cold or sick or whatever, maybe you would snuggle up in it if you wanted to. It also has pockets, but it's one of those really loose knit it gives you more of like that slouchy kind of look. And I don't know about you, but I love a slouchy cardigan with a pair of destroyed denim. It's just one of my favorite looks. Another cute look is to do the denim with more of a structured cardigan. Maybe something that has those buttons, something that fits the body just a little bit closer. It's a really cute look. This particular cardigan is very lightweight too. It transitions really well into the cooler temperatures. You can wear a jacket over this if you wanted to or a blazer as well. It's not too thick that you can't do more layers. Besides wearing tank tops with shorts, I also I like to wear t-shirts myself with shorts. T-shirts are another great thing to take you into fall time. Maybe you don't want to wear as many tank tops anymore and you want to have a little bit more coverage. Some of my favorite t-shirts are by Madewell. Some of them that I like have pockets. Others are just, this is just a basic crew neck and this is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan that I have layered over it. And then I really like to do a pendant style um, like a longer necklace when I do a t-shirt with a cardigan. I just think it's it styles really well. It keeps it kind of casual and not too dressy. Of course, you could do like a choker style too if you wanted, but I think it adds interest to the um, outfit and it also like elongates, just like the cardigan elong elongates your body a little bit. This just kind of mimics that line as well in the accessory. Another cute little tank top here is by One State. These come in uh, several colors, but it's just a really pretty, it has like a little sheer chiffon inset here, but it's not too low of a V that, you know, if you're concerned about cleavage. Um, it also has adjustable straps here in the back, but this kind of color, like a Bordeaux color, is just, I think, a good fall winter color to have in your wardrobe because it's gonna go with a lot of things. Lace camisoles are a great way to dress up those shorts with the cardigan. Having a little bit of a lace detail is like a dressy element, but also it can take a really casual outfit and dress it up a little bit. It's great to layer with something like this because you don't have you don't have a lot of bulk underneath your outfit. It just transitions really well. You can take the cardigan off and you still have a little something pretty that you're wearing. These lace ones here are from um, Abercrombie and they make some really nice ones as well. This particular one is like a nice, it's kind of sheer, but I would just wear a nude bra with it and if it really is truly hot, you don't want a really thick situation going on underneath, you know what I'm saying? So I really like the lace details on this one. Another item that I think is a good staple as far as transitioning from summer to fall is a bodysuit. And this particular bodysuit is tank top version. I have this same one in uh, a long sleeve one as well, and then I have it in a regular t-shirt style. But I think a bodysuit is so sexy. Not only is it sexy, but it is absolutely perfect to layer with because it smooths everything out, looks really great with high-waisted shorts or high-waisted jeans or just regular jeans. Um, you can throw anything over it. It is smooth. It's smooths everything out. There's no bulk. 
I like the fact that it comes in black. Black goes with everything, but these are a one-size-fits-all. They stretch a very, very long way. They're absolutely comfortable, and if you're wondering, it is a bodysuit that snaps at the bottom, so it's easy in and out. Dresses. We're all wearing dresses in the summer, but how do we take those into fall? So easy. Throw a cardigan over it. Throw on, instead of sandals, start wearing some cute little booties. I have a lot of booties that I wanted to share with you. This dress that I'm wearing right here is from Old Navy. I'm going to link it below. It is free-flowing. It's I just have a basic black color in it. Wear it with some cute little sandals. Wear it with a pair of booties. Accessorize it up. Dresses are one of those things that easily transition into a fall wardrobe. This midi dress here by Leith is also really nice. This has been in my closet for years, but they do have a new version of this, which I will link in the description box. Comes in lots of colors. This one has a bit of stretch to it. I would size up in this. I kind of wish I would have sized up in this particular one that I have. But the stretch on it is really nice. It dresses it up just a little bit. It does look really dressy and absolutely adorable with a pair of booties or high heels or sandals. When I think of fall, I think of plaid or flannels, and I think that this just easily transitions a summer outfit, t-shirt, white t-shirt and shorts, into a fall outfit so quickly. Throw this on, you can wear it open, you could button it up, you could take the two of these and just kind of like tie it around your waist to look all cute. If you wanted to just take it off, you could wrap it around your waist and tie it loosely, and that looks really cute as well. I love these rails ones. These are not your typical um, cotton material. These are, I believe these are 100% rayon. They are buttery, buttery soft. Just flows to the body, hugs the body nicely. These come in lots and lots of different patterns. This one just so happens to be this year's newer. I got this at the Nordstrom sale, so it's this year's newer pattern. But I love these. These are so easy. These are the epitome of fall when I think of fall is like booties and flannels. So I discovered these Tory Burch. Miller sandals, and I've decided these are just a really great investment. First of all, they're flip-flop, but they are leather. They are very nice quality. This is a black patent leather, looks like so. You can see the detail there. These are, so yeah, there's times where you wanna just do regular old flip-flops, and if you're looking for regular old flip-flops, I like the Javianas. Um, but if you're looking for something that is a, like a dressier version of a flip-flop, I would invest in these. These come in patterns, they come in metallics, they come in several colors. These are the plain, oops. These are the leather that are not patent, but these just dress up anything. That's why I love them. You could be wearing a little black dress and maybe you're at a summer wedding or an early fall wedding and it's still hot out and you don't want to wear heels and you don't want to do a booty yet. Invest in something like this because this will dress up your outfit. It will still go, but it won't dress your outfit down too much. Now, if you're wearing like a ball gown, probably wouldn't want to wear these. Well, maybe you could get away with like a white pattern or black pattern, but I'm just saying I love these because they're a flip-flop, but they're better than a flip-flop because they work more universally within your wardrobe and with all the different types of styles you want to rock. Now for booties. Okay, I have three booties that I want to recommend to you. I love these. These are by Vince Camuto. This year he redid these in a slightly different style, but I will link below what I can find. If I can find these exact ones, I will put them below as well, as well as the new ones so you can kind of see the difference. Something like this, so sticking cute. Still looks great with shorts. It does have a flatter heel. These are very comfortable. I wore these all fall, all winter. I wear them with shorts. I wear them with um, jeans, skinny jeans. They're just a staple. They're a very well-made booty, and they're by Vince Camuto. I love these. I love these. These are by Tom's. They're the Majorca booty. Um, I love the color of these too. It's like a smoky gray. It goes really well with jean shorts, which is like when I was looking at picking these out, I was like, oh man, what color? But I decided to go with a color that will work the best with most things. And I'm so glad that I went with this color. These have the open toe. This does not rub. It has a cute little tassel zipper pull on the side here. It's got a nice heel, but it's not too high. It, you know, I don't get blisters when I wear these. They're just comfortable. They're made by Tom's, which is known for being, you know, comfort. Um, definitely would recommend these. And if you're looking for a booty that is just, oh, I'm so happy with these. These are by the brand Boat Care. Boat Care. All I know is they are a lovely colored Bordeaux suede pointy toe dressy or casual, just stunning. They have gunmetal hardware, you can see there on the zipper pull. Oh, you guys, these are just so good. Pair these with a little black dress and a cute cardigan. 
You could wear a blazer with a dress and a cardigan. All I know is I freaking love these boots. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found some outfits that would maybe inspire you or maybe you've learned some ways that you can transition those warm weather pieces like your shorts and your tank tops and your sandals into those cooler weather pieces like booties and cardigans and flannels. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and check out my playlist of other outfit inspired videos that I've done. I love to do this type of thing here on my channel. Let me know if you enjoy it too and we can put together another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll chat very soon. Bye guys. I'm recording. I've been recording. If you want like pores like this, can I turn it like this? No. Because then I can get a lot. No, because then the footage is silent. I can get like this close then. I'm doing video so you can stand there. <laughs> You're gonna have every other stance awkward. I do you throw it away? Whoop! Zoom in. You know, I was gonna say this has got to be one continuous shot. <laughs> it's gonna be an awkward cut if they're cutting them yanks out. I can hear him banging on the keys in there. It is getting hotter. Perfect flannel weather. Ting's buying clothes like she lives up north still. Cardigans and sweaters and flannels. Spin. Where's the hair flick? Boop, 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 donk, donk, donk. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, filming that water can. By that I mean your butt.